Hey guys and welcome. Thanks for watching. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about a GIMP 2.8 tutorial and it's going to deal with getting rid of um, an object or a photobomber in your picture. Now I made another video similar to this that was a little bit more simplistic so I decided to make one that um, is a little bit more complicated and difficult. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of uh, Vern, better known as Mini Me, and so the way we're going to be doing that, and I'm also actually going to get rid of this wire. See this wire that runs along the red carpet. I'm going to be getting rid of it in this section alone, um, just because we're we're getting rid of it, uh, him anyway. I just wanted to go ahead and clean this this side of the image up. So the way we're going to do is we're going to divide his body into sections. So the first thing we're going to get rid of is from the red carpet down. So his, uh, about his knees down. Then from his knees to about his waist we're going to get rid of that and anything else we don't want including this wire. And then for the final section we're going to get rid of from his body up. Okay. And by the end of this video you're not even going to tell that anything was here or anything has been changed. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I want to do is zoom in on the section we're going to be working on. And let's go ahead and choose our clone tool. Okay, it's right down here. And I also want to point out, um, if you don't have the resynthesizer tool, I made a video on where to download it and how to install it. You're going to have to watch that video if you want to participate fully in what I'm going to show you. Okay, so the clone tool, you don't need the resynthesizer. For. It comes stock on GIMP. I'm going to go ahead and change the size to 8 and push enter. So now my brush size is 8. And the way the clone tool works is you choose an open area or any area that you want to clone and then hold control and left click. And now that's going to be our clone area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to drag the cursor over everything that I want to match this and this is actually going to come along with me and you'll see that in a moment so the second I start to click you notice that that clone marker that clone cursor is coming along with me see and just like that I've recreated the carpet and if I want to pick up my click and move that I can do that also Okay, now you see the red's a little bit off there, we're going we're gonna to fix that later, so we're not going to worry about that. So after we remove this part of the wire, now we're going to use the resynthesizer tool. So let's first use the free select tool, and I'm going to come right up here to the edge where the red carpet and the, and the stone slabs meet, and I'm going to click all the way up across the red carpet line. I'm going to come down around him just like so. You want to keep it fairly close to the object you're going to be changing. Okay, so now it's time to get rid of this. So we're going to go to filters, enhance, heal selection, and what we're doing is this is the selection and it's considered healing it because we're gonna copy it with something or patch it so to speak with something else and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna choose how many pixels we want to go left and right I don't want all around I want above or side to side so sides and I want 50 pixels so if you look up here my pixel markers right here so um, these measurements are in pixels so from 75 to about 125 it's going to be my pool to pick from when it repatches this so that sounds good it's going to fill it randomly that looks good hit OK and now that's done select none so we can look at it now you can kind of still see where his feet were so we're going to go ahead and fix that with the heal healing tool so 
choose the healing tool and just like the clone tool we're gonna pick an area out here on the carpet hold control click and then as you see when I go over top of this I kind of smooth out the texture and it kind of matches uh, the texture uh, out here where no alteration has been made so you see can't even tell anything was there so now let's move on let's go ahead and get rid of uh, the rest of this wire so we're just gonna go ahead and back to the clone tool and we're gonna clone probably right about here we're gonna control click and we're gonna just gonna do little drags in the beginning because we only have a little bit of room that we're cloning on so I keep uh, re-clicking okay once you get that about where you want it let's just do a little bit more now I'm gonna clone this crack so I'm gonna hit control click again I'm gonna clone the crack all the way down okay so that looks nice and natural it matches up there I'm gonna control click over here so I can continue my cloning process on the wire and I'm just clicking little clicks because once again I only have a little area if I were just to click and drag see the second my clone tool um, gets to some other texture or a different color it's gonna clone that instead so we don't want it to do that that's why I'm just doing little clicks so that looks pretty good now let's go ahead and get rid of uh, the middle section of Vern mini me so we're gonna go back to the free select tool and go to about the bottom of the sign to the bottom of the sign come down bottom of his kneecap all the way across the red carpet and then all the way back up so now we're gonna get rid of this midsection so let's go back to filters enhance heal selection and once again the reason I'm going side to side is because I want to pick these pixels up I don't want to pick these pixels up and I don't want to pick these pixels up I just want the side pixels because uh, it just happens to be the way that our background is laid out okay if your background has a lot of trees or something or fence posts or something um, then you might want to do a vertical or um, above and below okay so I'm just explaining to you kind of why I'm doing it like this so if I come from here to here it's a little bit more than 50 I'm gonna go ahead and do 75 pixels because and, and part of my uh, heel selection I want to include this line and maybe it'll recreate it okay maybe not because it's random but we'll see so I'm gonna do 75 hit OK okay that doesn't look too bad I'm gonna go to select none oops select none and then I'm gonna zoom back out okay so that's not too bad looking pretty good okay now let's go ahead and get rid of uh, Vern from the upper part of this picture and then if we want we can touch this up a little bit more but let's go ahead and do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the clone tool and I what I want for for this one I want a little bit bigger brush to clone because what I'm gonna be doing is cloning this pattern to kind of uh, go over top of him so I'm gonna actually go up to uh, that's a little big let's go to about 30 that looks pretty good okay so I'm gonna start somewhere um, because I can start replicating it down here I'm gonna go ahead and start my pattern right here okay so once again with the clone tool I'm gonna control click on the center of this pattern and then I'm gonna start brushing right in the center of this uh, symbol because these are matching symbols so I'm gonna start right about there 
that looks pretty close. See so what it's doing is it's just uh, covering up all this existing. Oh, we got a little bit of his head. Got to be careful. It's okay. We'll just go back over that. See, as I come over here. So it's just uh, copying what's already there. So it looks nice and professional. Now, because I have a blue here, it means I can start my mask right here and then start pasting right here. See how they kind of match up just like that? So now I can continue where I left off. So if I just do that, got a nice edge right about there. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about that because as I'm going to show you, if you, let's go ahead and delete what we have. Let's go ahead and go back down to 8 and hit enter. I'm going to clone this line right here. So I'm going to control click here and I'm just going to put a new bottom edge right there on my banner. I'm going to control click here and I'm just going to touch that up just a little bit. Okay, so now it kind of looks, uh, looks natural. Okay, so we don't have such a such a, a definitive edge where where the pattern meets the the brick. So just real quick, I'm going to heal the selection. I'm going to continue that line just so it looks a little bit better. So let's go to heal selection here. See, it's just kind of getting rid of that sharp line that was there, kind of blending the the color together. So I'm going to shift click down there and just kind of touch up that color a little and now I'm going to use the clone tool shift click I mean uh, control click sorry and repeat exactly what we had there which is uh, this brick line I'm just going to kind of freehand it doesn't have to be perfect okay that looks pretty good in fact if I wanted to, I could just uh, make my own brick line. Start there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, let's go ahead and zoom out and we'll see what we have. So, now you, as you can see, you can never tell that anything was ever right there. Uh, it's all it's all gone anyway guys I hope this video helped and let me know if you guys have any comments or if there's any other GIMP videos you want me to make thanks for watching